Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Now, I will telling you about my tutorial video And my tutorial video is How to use service information system And then, let me introduce myself My name is Hermon Agung And I'm from Hekwi Equipment Engineering 3B class And then, um, I think enough for me introduce myself okay let's watching and happy watching okay now we have been calm in home service information system or sys and this is an url or address you can use to open service information system and then and then before we operating service information system I will explain you about service information system what is that what is service information system okay I will explain you now this our service information system is a software to inform us about how to assemble and disassemble some engine and remove and install a part or component as well and from that we know about this to be our step by step or first step it's me service information system it's to be our procedure how to install a component how to remove a component how to assemble engine or disassemble engine or machine okay okay this is service information system and if you wanna to open service information system you must choose this address and after that you can open service information system and if you wanna to go to uh, main menu you must login and you need login id and password and login id is alat berat and password is alat berat with capital remember alat berat with capital and then login and after that choose a regular users Remember, regular user. And we come to main menu. Okay. We can see something like system and component, documentation, or anything. Okay. I will explain you about this color. This one and this one. Okay. Part column. This uh, this column it's a part column the function from this column is uh, to finding or search about information from part or company and you can you can uh, uh, finding or search uh, information about part or component with a part number if you have a part number type your part number in this column uh, and then enter and after that you can see very much information about your part or component okay and then the serial number what the function of this column the function of this column is to inform you about a system and component 
about engine or machine and if you wanted to uh, finding or search about your information your engine information or machine information you must have a serial number and you can finding or search serial, serial number in uh, at your engine you can uh, finding or search with visual okay and then for example is I choose this serial number and after you type this serial number press enter button okay after you press enter button press the steel system and company and this is any information from system and company in your engine and for example let's see about the braking system and let's see accumulator okay this is a disassemble and assemble disassemble and assemble it's mean remove or install okay this is a brake accumulator surface remove and install and this is remove procedure and installation procedure okay if you wanted to remove and install brake accumulator brake accumulator you can click remove and install okay and this is any information any procedure about how to remove and how to install brake accumulator surface it's from remove panel remove bolt and remove bolt and edit this is a removal process and if you want if you wanted to install you can see installation first okay from install ser service track simulator and service break IR both This is to be your procedure how to remove or how to install a engine or machine uh, because if you know about a procedure uh, you cannot to confuse or you can know about what you must do for the next. okay and if you want to identification a part from your engine you can click this is this is a part identification and look and you can see part number and part name and if you see this part number, it means the name of that spark is accumulator TV break. And if, if you see this part number, you can now name from that spark is let us. Okay, this is very useful for working or yeah for working or you wanted to assemble or assemble disassemble or assemble 
remove and install some en some engine or uh, machine that this software is very useful I think enough for my tutorial video and I hope you enjoy it and then I hope you can know about service information system and we know service information system is very useful for identification or if you wanna to disassemble or assemble engine or machine that is uh, good and if you wanna to do that you must have a procedure and you can get a procedure from service information system okay and then uh, I think that is enough for me to introduce about service information system and uh, telling to you about how to use service information system and okay I hope we can meet again in the next video and or another video okay see you see you next time see you later and goodbye stay classy my bro